Hey guys, Zara here. So today's look is going to be created using some of the new Fenty Beauty products as well as some favourites and some new products as well. So starting off I'm going to use a Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, really nice hydrating primer. And next I'm going to use a liquid highlighter. This is a Tartus Pro Glow liquid highlighter in the shade Exposed. I'm just applying that to a foundation brush. I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones and <clears throat> down the centre of my face as well. For foundation today I'm going to be using the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I used a mix of Tan Sand and Tan Deep Honey, but I can get away with just Tan Deep Honey. It just makes me look a little bit tan. So I use Tan Sand kind of on the highlighted parts of my face and Tan Deep Honey on the parts of my face that I guess I would want to recede a little bit. Um, so then I just used a beauty blender just to blend that all in. And then for concealer, I mixed the Kat Von D Locket Concealers in the shade M28 Neutral and D45 Neutral, just taking equal parts on the back of my hand, mixing them up, and then putting them on my eyelid just to conceal the darkness, and then using a beauty blender to apply it underneath my eyes. I'm then going to take some of the Ben Nye Banana Powder just to bake underneath my eyes to prevent it from kind of creasing and drying out throughout the day. I don't know why baking just seems to work for me. I just it just does. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Deep. Next, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is in the deepest shade, shade number 6. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows using this and then set them in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Uh, now, just wiping away the bake underneath my eyes, I'm going to continue on with my complexion and bronze up using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Laterra Bronzer. This is in the shade 4. Um, it works for me when I'm at my palest, um, but once I tan up the summer, it, it will pretty much be the same colour as my skin. And then to carve up my cheekbones a little bit, I'm going to be using this Chanel Le Beige Powder. This is in the shade number 50. I originally bought it as a face powder, but it just wasn't right for me. It was way too cool toned, a little bit too dark, so I found it worked quite well as a contour when I'm a little bit lighter. Uh, for blush, I'm going to be using the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Favour. I'm going to take the deeper shade on an angled brush and apply that to my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And I'm taking the um, more kind of glistening shade on the right there. And this is the shade Hustler Baby. Next, I'm going to be taking the Fenty, Be Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. And I'm going to apply this to the center of my lids. A lot of people, I guess, are a little bit hesitant to buy this product because it's like, what am I going to do with a gold highlighter? Um, I found it's a very nice kind of yellow Indian gold. So, I mean, it's perfect for like Indian brides that want that really yellow gold on their eyelid. Because I've actually found whenever I find a nice gold in store or in a palette, it usually kind of fades out, whereas this one's just really strong yellow show, uh, shade, and it's just, yeah, perfect for that kind of Indian look, if you will. Um, then I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked Heat Eyeshadow Palette. This is the shade Cayenne, Cayenne, and I'm taking that and just creating a bit of a halo eye around Trophy Wife. Next, I'm going to be taking the Sigma, oh, sorry, I also applied Cayenne to my lower lash line. Um, then I'm going to be taking the Sigma Eye Pencil in Boost. This is just a black pencil that doesn't really budge on me and I'm going to apply that to my tight line and my water line. And I forgot about this step. This is Trophy Wife just to kind of mirror the upper lid. You can see what I'm doing. So yeah, taking that black pencil, tight lining, water lining and then for mascara I'm going to be using the MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. I just really like this one. It grabs each individual lash, coats it, and makes my lower lashes look really fanned out and thick. And then for my upper lashes, I'm going to be using the By Terry Terribly Mascara. Um, again, just really coats every single lash and makes them look quite long, which I really like. Uh, no falsies today, but I'm going to use the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Unbroken for my lips. And setting everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So that's the end of the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I will create a video using all of the Fenty Beauty products I have, so keep an eye out for that one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!